square. <laughs> Somewhere in Florence. Here we are, we just got off the cruise ship and uh, we're at the uh, train station here in Livorno. And just use this machine, buy your ticket. Um, it's got an English option. So just go through, select English, buy your ticket, and then select the uh, area you want to go to. So Florence is the Firenze, and then you're going to have several time options. You just select it, and then you select the number of people. It says first class and second class. I want to choose first yeah. class because it's the same thing, so you're just like paying. Four euros more for first class, it doesn't seem to be worth it. And then once you purchase your ticket, make sure you check out this board, because this is the most important thing. You obviously, you want to go to your time slot, you want to look at where you're going. Like this one, for example, which is uh, Frenzy, you need to look and make sure that's the time that you're taking off at 1410. And then, and then that tells you the platform, that's platform six. Then you won't have... Which is the number in the circle. Yeah, we're, we're, we're used to looking at like digital, TVs or monitors, but they seem to just put that guide up. It's just they a print. Some, it, does, it does have some. Look at the board up there. It does have some boards. But actually, it's really confusing because it doesn't have all the schedules and all the cities. Yeah, this board just seems to have the final destination, and many of the stops are not the final destination. So you got to check this out to find out where your destination is, and then go to your platform. So that's what we're going to go do, and hopefully, it goes smoothly. is whether or not we make it back. So we made it downtown via the train and we're gonna go see what we can find. See if there's anything good to buy. Piazza Duomo? I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. I don't know the uh, history or much of anything about this church. It's pretty impressive because of the colors. It's unlike anything we've seen so far. We're in a square <laughs> somewhere in Florence. So my Italian interpreter over here says it's Plaza Biccio. Oh, there it is. Plaza Vicio. Cool bridge. The bridge is pretty. Beautiful, beautiful reflection off the water there. <laughs> So we made it to pizza via the train. It was fairly easy. It gets a little confusing. But you just need to look at the uh, your ticket and the final destination, the final destination is going to be what is on the train anyway so we've made good time so far we've 
we've, uh, we've gone from Florence, or no, we've gone from Livorno, the cruise ship terminal, taking the train to Florence, and now we, uh, we spent three, four hours in Florence, and now we're taking, and we took the uh, train from Florence here to Pizza. We're gonna play it by ear here. We may or may not take the train back, we may just get a cab, because now we feel comfortable with only 10, 15 minute drive from our cruise terminal, so we may just pay for a cab. took that LAM bus to get here. The LAM bus was a dollar ten euro and uh, we've basically gone from Laverno to Florence and, and now the Pisa. Pisa and then back to the ship for probably less than like 40 euros. So just a quick sum we arrived in Livorno, we took a shuttle from, obviously if you're cruising, there have shuttles there for you to go to the main plaza. From the plaza you take a very small trip to the station, the, which is the Livorno main station, and then we took a ride that was like 14 euros for both of us to ride all the way to Florence. And in Florence you don't need to take a bus or anything, you just uh, buy a, a, a map for one euro at the station and then they give you directions as far as what to go. We went walking the whole distance and it was really quick and very nice. And then we took the, the, the train obviously back to Pisa where we are now. And it also cost us 14 euros. So for 28 euros, if, if you want to save money, that's the way to go instead of spending lots of money on the cruise tours that they offer. Um, yeah, the, uh, the cruise tour we were thinking of doing was $360. We've done everything we wanted to do With that would have been included in, yeah, for, um, yeah, for $30 basically. And we just give yourself plenty of time. Don't rush yourself because you never know if there's going to be a train that gets canceled or delayed. But we've, uh, we've had 12 hours from 7 in the morning till 7 o'clock at night in Florence or Laverno. And we're here, we just arrived at Pizza, it's only 4 o'clock and we still have 3 hours. And the trip from here to the ship is only about 15 minutes. Um, so we're only going to be here to take a few photos. And then we're going to head back to the ship. And look at that, I can see the Leaning Tower. And there's the Leaning Tower of Pizza. Here's a little uh, shopping tip if you're in Florence or Pisa or on a cruise ship that takes you into Livorno. We were we came in and we took the train to Florence thinking that was going to be the best place to buy little knickknacks or do some shopping. But it turns out we're finding some great deals here in the uh, square where the tower here is located. And... Um, for example, Erica just bought these two, or two of these Italian, Italia jackets, they're really nice jackets, and they're only 15, 15 euros a piece. Super cheap. We saw them in Florence for like 45. So, if you're going to be doing some shopping, just walk around the, uh, the square here where Pisa is located. There's all types of stuff. We bought two shot glasses. Um, and then and the cool thing, the shot glasses were obviously leaning. So that's kind of a cool feature. And uh, we bought a few other things, a couple magnets. Oh, and we bought a little mini tower, which was only like three euros. I think it was that one right there. So, can't go wrong. If you're looking for little knickknacks, don't buy them in Florence. Just wait till you get the pizza and buy them here. So tell everybody what you just purchased or what good deals you found here in Pisa.
we got some jackets, some towers, then we got some wine she, openers, some and she even, How much was this little tower? Two dollars? Two yeah. euros? And she gave that to you for free? Yeah. For buying a bunch of stuff? For 50 bucks. How much was the total? 50. 50 euros for, for two Italia jackets. Two shot glasses, two magnets, two towers. That's a it, wine right? opener. And a wine opener. This is a great deal compared to anything else we've seen so far on this trip. So we're on the train heading back to Laverno, the cruise ship uh, port. Looks like we should make it back on time, knock on wood, with a little bit of time to spare. Look at that train, it's got three all over it. They're going now.